Yo, what's going on guys? Real quick, I just wanna to come to y'all just for a short video. It's gonna be real easy, real quick, how to create proxy files in Final Cut Pro. Let's go. All right guys, let's get it going. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up a brand new project. And I'm sorry if this audio is gonna be off a little bit. Um, I had to re-record it. So we're gonna just name it proxy. Everything else is gonna stay the same. Um, then go right there, click import media. Once you import your media, all you're gonna do is go to wherever your files are at. All right, select your files. Then right here, you're gonna go ahead and just name it into the new event like we talked about before. Name this whatever you want. Um, I'm just gonna name it more files proxy. It's just gonna be for uh, easier, uh, just, uh, I guess how we want to put it in there right here is where all the magic's going to happen you're going to click create proxy media and then just click import all once you import all you'll see right up here it'll have everything that is uh importing your media it is transcoding it it is doing all of that great stuff and it is right there but you need to go to view you need to click proxy once you click proxy you'll see that none of the footage is there and that is because it is currently creating your proxy files so now that it is creating your proxy files let's go ahead and speed this up real quick and bam now that your proxy files are over and done with and they are created go ahead and just uh grab your footage you can just grab your footage, exit out of here, and just start throwing everything in there, and you should be able to edit with all of your proxy files, which is gonna be easier on your computer. It's not gonna take as much uh, you know, processing power, all of that, so everything that you're gonna wanna do is simple. Um, it's just gonna be nice and easy to run. And then once you're ready to export, you can go back up there to the view. You're gonna click Optimize Original. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna render out everything that you've already done. So your whole project is gonna be rendering at this particular time. Now when that's done, click Share and you are done and good to go. All right, guys, I really hope that was useful and helpful for y'all. If y'all have any questions, if y'all have any uh, any type of things y'all want to see on the channel as far as uh, any tutorials, Final Cut Pro wise or anything like that, please leave a comment below. Let's go ahead and get that out to y'all. And I will make videos specifically for y'all, whether it's one, two, three, any amount of people that want to see this, we will continue to make videos for y'all. Blessings, fam. Oh yeah, my bad. Don't forget to, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube things. And uh, I heard this before, if you don't like the video, hit dislike twice. So uh, yeah, blessings.